So I am back with yet another First Descendant video and today guys I bring you this insane glitch which will allow you to farm materials at an incredibly insane rate. Materials needed for certain ultimate descendants, ultimate weapons and much much more. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So first things first, this is a glitch, so use this at your own risk. I really don't know if they will punish players for doing this, but it is always a risk on your behalf. Also guys, credit to my pal Mill Gaming for the video, I saw this on his channel specifically, so credit to him, I'll link his channel down below if you do want to check him out and show him some love. Okay, so how this works is you basically take advantage of the countdown timer in any of the zone recon missions on any of the regions, it doesn't matter where they are. So if there is any specific material you are after or in need of, this will work with almost every single one that is a drop from the zone recon boss enemies. What's happening here is we're basically failing the mission and then instantly restarting it but at the same time we are taking out the boss of said zone recon mission so we're getting his loot drops but we're instantly able to basically kill him again over and over and over getting an indefinite supply of said rewards that he drops so it's pretty cool. For instance, materials which will help you get those energy activators uh, such as the low carbon activator can be farmed this way as it comes from a zone recon mission enemy. Simple as this guys but it doesn't end there, there's pretty much most important things for progression can be farmed or certain materials needed to craft such items can be farmed by using this glitch, this exploit. But what you do need to understand is, and I'm not seeing anyone else really mention this, is that there are materials also tied to the success of these zone recon missions. And then there are materials tied to the mission enemy drops. So what you are looking for is mission monster drops, not mission success drops. So please do not be believing anyone who tells you that you can get things like the amorphous patterns that can drop from these upon you completing them, successfully completing them because you cannot. What you are looking for is materials that drop from mission monsters. So if there's a certain thing, a certain material you're looking for and it drops from a mission monster in one of these zone recon missions, at least you can 100% farm this way. But like I said, there are many, many other harder and more important materials that you can get doing this very farm, this very glitch. And what it's doing is it's eliminating the cooldown and having to wait I believe 5 minutes in between each one of these zone recon missions. It's literally instant guys and you'll see it in a quick second when I demonstrate it to you. But there is, and I mean there is a great way of where you can reset these missions to farm them where you successfully complete them and also get the mission drops too. So if there is any other material, doesn't matter what it is, and it drops upon you completing, successfully completing any of the zone recon missions, there is a way you can speed this up too, so you don't have to wait for any cooldown, but we'll get to that after I've showcased you guys the glitch. So how this works is, find the material you need which can be acquired from any of those zone recon missions it doesn't matter what region it's on can be normal can be hard it doesn't matter then what you want to do guys is make sure you are set to private not public private unless you are in a full team where no one else can be added into the vicinity then guys you need to run to or just head to that zone recon mission then you want to start up and progress as you do with every single one of these zone recon missions and that is destroying the three containers. What this does is it will then spawn in that boss and this is where we do that glitch. So what you need to do guys here is make sure the boss is left on a one hit. Now depending on your build it may be easy for you to one shot any of these bosses these zone recon missions offer. If that's the case you don't need to leave them on a one hit but if you're a little bit weaker than what the enemy is and you want to farm their specific material over and over you'll have to shoot him until he gets down to a one shot meaning you can kill him in an instant when that time needs to happen. So what you want to do guys is make sure this is the case, make sure you can kill that enemy for one shot or leave them on a one shot, it's as simple as that. What I'd also do is avoid using weapons such as the Thunder Cage because of the AOE effects on them. They can kind of mess this up if you shoot another enemy and it kills the boss. We don't want that to happen. So yes, making sure that boss is left on a one hit or you're certain that you can one hit him 
You now want to slowly walk away from the area of where the zone recon mission is, but keep the boss in your sights. What you'll see is that red notification pop up on your screen saying you are out of the combat zone, mission failure in what 10 seconds, 5 seconds, whatever. What you want to do here, guys, is wait until that time hits that zero second mark. At this exact time, guys, you need to kill the boss. Here, if you time it right, which is quite easy to do, um, the boss will drop his loot drops. Hopefully, that material you want. You simply pick it up. Then, guys, you can instantly restart the zone recon mission by progressing as normal, go into the same little area, shoot the containers, the boss will reappear, and you can do this over and over and over again to have an indefinite supply of the certain said material you are farming. It really is as simple as that, guys. Now, what I will say is, if you do want to farm the rewards from these missions upon you successfully completing them, so you want the mission successfully for rewards, there's an easy way to do this too. So what you want to do, guys, is find any zone recon mission and any of the regions, just what we've been doing. Make sure if it's on normal or on hard, depending on the material you're trying to farm. This can work with, obviously, uh, blueprints. It can work with the amorphous patterns. It can work with anything, guys, that can drop from the success of you doing the zone recon missions. Then guys, you just want to make sure again it is on private, not public, so you can do this by yourself or if you're in the full team, that's completely fine too. Then guys, head to that zone recon mission and do it, simple as that. Now guys, you will notice there is a 5 minute timer before it respawns. Here what you need to do is fast travel to a different part of the region and then fast travel back back it's out of the area that the previous zone recommission is just completed once you travel back here it will have reset so if there's two zone recommissions within the same uh, map area i.e let's just say vespers do one simply complete it fast travel to the other one complete that fast travel back or if you just want to farm the same one over complete the zone recon mission fast travel to a different area fast travel back and it will have reset it's as simple as that guys and that is the fastest way you can complete the zone recon missions successfully and get the mission drop rewards again the glitch doesn't work this way because we're not completing the mission we're actually failing it but at the same time we're taking out the bus so we all want to get the mission monster drops which is something you need to be aware of when using this glitch don't be trying to farm this use in this glitch to get some of the amorphous patterns because that would not work or anything like that if the rewards are tied to you successfully completing the mission they will not drop if you use the glitch it's as simple as that but completing the mission uh, getting that loot drop fast traveling away from the area fast traveling back on that private mode will instantly reset the zone recon mission so keep that in mind guys but yes there we have it for another video guys if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one.